So let's assume you want to configure dependency cruiser for your project because you want to visualize connections between modules to improve your architecture and do some refactoring. But when you try to set up configuration using CLI or guides from documentation, you're just frustrated because it doesn't work properly. So in this video, I want to show you really simple and helpful configuration for visualizing your project dependencies using dependency cruiser. So let's start. So this is the sample project and actually it is scaffolded using T3 app uh, CLI, but you can use whatever project you want to check and try um, this configuration because it should work. So first let's check actually what is dependency cruiser. And as we can see here, it's a library for validation and a visualization of dependencies. So how we can use it. So if we scroll down, we can see uh, installation section. So let's do npm install. And after we do that, let's try to generate config file. So yes, we have SRC uh, folder. We don't have tests in separate folder. Yes, we want to use tsconfig and we want to use uh, TypeScript dependencies if they are exist before compilation. Uh, so next, let's try to follow the instructions. And here, um, this library suggests us to use npx, depcrease and uh, many, many characters after that. First bottleneck you can find here, it's this graph this dot. So without this graph this, it won't work for you. So you should go to graph this uh, dot org and install it for your operating system. After you do that, let's try actually this command and what, what it will do for us. It generates dependency graph and seems like it works. Uh, but um, as you can see here, um, it's a little bit hard to understand and read what is here. So I want to show you, and if we check actually our dependency cruiser config, this is very big file and I'm not sure what it, all of this is about. Uh, it's really hard to read and understand. And uh, I want to show you how to um, use small and simple file to generate useful information. So if also you can see here real world examples and you can try to follow them. For example, um, you can try to implement this React approach. Uh, but actually when I tried this, it was really hard for me to implement this. So what I wanted you to see, um, how to run really simple configuration file. Um, one second, I will show you the config. So we'll use uh, this config. And uh, one second, yeah, also you should ignore it because uh, ESLint has um, errors related to JS file. You can ignore um, your depcruise config something like using something like this. Um, so, okay, you have this config file and uh, it's small. And actually this is related to additional styling in your graph, uh, but you don't actually need it. All you need is this collapse pattern. And uh, here I just uh, list all my folders, for example, SRC app, pages, features, and UI kit. All I want to see in the graph. So after I do so, um, I can use npm command. I will copy it in package JSON. So this is the command. It is quite similar to what we have uh, in uh, documentation, but here we um, compile our graph into this file. So let's try to use this command. So we generated uh, our graph. Let's see. 
what we have in the graph. So as we can see here, it's much more readable. So we see um, actually our pages and all the dependency related to pages. And we see our dependency flow, which is very important. As we can see here in UI kit, for example, we have many different modules which are connected to other components and it's not good. We could create, for example, index file and export all these modules using one file and it would be just a better implementation of architectural design. So yeah, this is it. This is what I wanted to show you. I will add the link to this uh, configuration.